Welcome to hi fi I'm Marcos, this is Kurt, and this is part two of our practical speaker setup. Today we'll be sharing five tips on how to take your basic setup to the next level for critical listening. In the first video, we got the positioning of the speakers to a pretty good level. In this video, we'll be taking that to the next level and really fine tuning the system. So to get us started, what we've done here with the speakers, we've taped out a grid line to facilitate just moving the speakers around later in the video. We've also taped out the center line of the room here and you can see we've got lines here for our chair. So this is where we want to start off at with our chair and we can move it forward and after too. So with this tape, what we've done, we've visualized the equilateral triangle that we talked about in the first video. So what, we, what we're going to be doing now is moving the speakers around and the chair to really fine tune the system. So in hi-fi tip number one, we're going to show you how to optimally position your speakers both laterally and from the front wall. The reason why we did a maximum line on here too as well, again like Marco said, that's kind of both aesthetically pleasing in the room and that will keep your family happy. So what we're going to do is Marcos or somebody, or you can just do it by yourself, will we'll sit from the listening position and we're going to move it those we're going to move it five inches behind because we marked these in two and a half inch increments. We're going to move it five inches behind. And what, you, what I want you to listen for is listen to the bass response. Now, if the bass response gets a little bit more boomy, then, then, you, you, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move it back up. If there is no difference, you might as well keep it positioned in that back below. That way it even, again, cosmetically looks nicer in the room. So a lot of speakers, they also come with what's called port plugs. So I would try it with both. If you get really good results using the port plugs, and again, moving that positioning back and forth, getting the ideal results, I would try it both ways. So one way to look for it to see if your bass is accurate is to you pick something that's like an instrument that has a wide range, like a cello. And if all the notes sound quite even, then that's how you know that your proper position. You have certain now notes just sound so much louder than the others. That's when you can always adjust your speakers. So now what we're going to do is we're going to position the speakers laterally. Now, for example, as you can see here, if we were going with that same equilateral triangle and where we want to put our desired location of the couch, it's quite far off. So what I would do is I would move the speaker as far to the left and to the right as much as possible. Again, keeping the idea, keeping everything as practical set up so cosmetically looks good and try to move it as far as, uh, as, as possible as you can. That will create, get you closer to that equilateral triangle that you're looking for. Yeah, so as you're moving the speaker from left and right, what things you want to look for is you basically want to look for your imaging. And for your imaging is, what it does is when you move them farther apart, it changes the way a lot of your mid bass sounds and even your mids. And if you're finding that it started to sound a little bit thin, a lot of times is you kind of gone too far. And also too is pay attention to that center image because when you're listening, you should, you should be able to always pick, so pick a vocal to listen for. You should be able to hear that vocal right in the middle. And when you, you know when it's in the right spot, when you just got the right amount of energy and body in the midst. Going back when we explained in the first video, always remember that you, you don't want to keep a perfect square from your side wall and from your rear wall. So for example, if you've got, if you're two feet from the front speaker or the back wall, you don't want to be two feet from the side wall. You always want to be about, you always want to be about at least 30% or if not 35% or more. Hi-Fi tip number two. So now trying to find your most ideal listening position. What you wanna do is you wanna start with that equilateral triangle, just like where Marcos is positioned here. The reason why we're using this chair is it's easy to move around, as, as opposed to trying to move around the big couch. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take a step back 
I'm just doing it in, in a couple of increments. Listen to the sound stage. The more your speakers and how you, what you're looking for is more that feeling of your speakers disappearing. The more it almost seems like your speaker is disappearing, the, the better the sound quality. Because your whole idea behind this, between creating these triangle, is to create as much as a reflection-free zone. And how I mean by that is, you want to try to avoid as much what they call first reflection, because it causes a lot of confusion to your brain, especially when, when it comes to sound staging like that. That's why, with less confusion, things sound a lot more precise. Sound staging is the ability, for example, say you're listening to a band, you've got the singer in the middle, you've got the drums in the back, or the piano in the background, you should be able to really localize and pinpoint where everything is. So the goal of this right now, to remember, is to hear where you're, where you're almost looking for the sound, that it almost appears as much into the room. So now, after listening, for example, we find that this is the ideal position. Now, keeping the mindset of that whole practical positioning idea. As you can see, the couch is quite quite far off for listening, which is okay. But what I want to do is, of course, discuss it with your partner or your family, and maybe what you can do is find a good compromise to take that couch and move it as close to this listening position as possible. That works for the both of you guys. So once you've really found the ideal position for your speakers and you find they're imaging well, and they're performing well, your next step is gonna be adjusting toe-in. With toe-in, what you're doing is angling the speaker inward to be more angled to your ear to adjust the image. So the best thing to do is to do it with two people, um, and that way what you can do is when, we're, when you're doing the toe-in, what you wanna listen for again is for that sound stage. And especially right now, I want people to focus on that, that center image because you're gonna notice as it's gonna change. What I would do as a tip is almost exaggerate the toe and almost toe the speakers out as much as like almost about half an inch and then work your ways in so you understand the changes of what it's doing. And what you really, what your main goal to do is get that center image as focused as, as, as properly as you can. And you'll notice even the way the vocal sound, it will sound uh, it will change, like it almost sound, what I would say, kind of fatter and wider. And as you bring it in, sometimes it'll sound a lot more precise and and tighter. And I want, and the main thing for you to is find that spot where you really, where you feel it sounds the best to your ears. Hi-Fi tip number four, when it comes to room acoustics, if you have a hard surface flooring, is adding a, the largest area rug you can fit in the room. What it'll do, it'll absorb a lot of those first reflections and really, help with the sound. So another tip for acoustics you can do is if you are if you want to put a painting in the back wall, especially something that's on stretch canvas, an easy really thing to do is just hide some, hide some either Roxel, it's um, basically it's like a fiber bat that they use for insulation in the back there. You can also actually pick up what's called fiber bat, so it's a really stiff material, and you just cut it out, hide it and place it behind the material, and that will again really help with reflections. Remember I said as the, le the least reflections you have, the better your sound quality will be. And another same idea you can do is if, if it works out for your decor, again what you can do is you can put something, a uh, painting right behind the speaker, and that, again that will help with your sound quality as well. So in the last part of the acoustics, it will be to cover up your windows. The thicker the curtain, the more you're gonna block a lot of that reflection. And as mentioned is, that first reflection, especially this, your sidewall reflection is one of the most important because that reflection, by the time it gets to your ear, really confuses the brain and the more you can minimize, the better it's gonna sound. The last hi-fi tip that I, that I tell a lot of my clients is when you're, is actually having two positions, especially this works if you have really light speakers. So what, do you, what you'd want to do, for example, Marcos, come here, help me, is what you would do is, because usually, as, as we mentioned, speakers, generally from the, from the back wall, the more you move it forward, reduces the amount of reflections, generally creating better sound quality. And because this is a practical setup, that's not always the case. So what we tell to do is we will mark another position, usually in the front. So for example, we found their toe in and everything there already. 
And usually, just imagine that this will be under the speaker. This is a lot easier with a square speaker. If you, if you have a speaker like this, you're gonna wanna use like little small pieces of tape. And then what you would do is you would take that, you would mark out that as an ideal spot and you would move up the speaker. Uh, you would move up the speaker to that location. That way it brings it on the wall. And this is, this is used when you really want a critical listening. So if you want to try to get the, the best out of your system and maybe you got an extra couple of hours that you have time to kill and you're going to sit in that sweet spot and listen, this is, this is a really good tip to, to, to be able to kind of get, kind of make your, your, your room situation work at its best. And also remember, this doesn't always work with really heavy speakers, of course, um, but because the, 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 the whole idea is now when you take the speakers, you move it back. to that position, you'll be hiding that tape. And again, you know, if you picture that this is a normal squared speaker, it's a lot easier. If you're gonna do it something like this again, you just use little, little small pieces of tape that these little pegs can hide. Thanks for watching our video. Please hit that notification bell because in the future we'll be producing a video where we have a room where we can do anything we'd like. We have unlimited possibilities. We can pull the speakers out as far as we like and we can do any acoustic treatment. Thanks for watching and please leave a comment down below.